The northernmost state of India, Jammu and Kashmir has two capitals. But do you know the reason behind this? Hello everyone and welcome to InfoBandar. My name is Parth Nagpal and in this video, we will look at the reasons behind Jammu and Kashmir's policy of having two capitals. So without any further delay, let's get started. So in Jammu and Kashmir, every year there is a shift of the secretariat and all the government offices from Jammu to Srinagar and vice versa. This biannual shift is known as the Darbar move. From May to October, all the government offices are housed in Srinagar, which is the summer capital of the state, while from November to April, all the government offices are housed in Jammu, which is the winter capital of the state. The Jammu and Kashmir High Court also moves from Jammu to Srinagar in summers and from Srinagar to Jammu in winters. For the history of the Darbar move, we need to go back to the 19th century when the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir, Ranbir Singh, made Srinagar the second capital of the state after Jammu. Apparently, there were many reasons behind this. First, after the Treaty of Amritsar, the regions of Kashmir as well as Jammu came under the Dogra Kingdom. Now, to keep the people of Kashmir happy, Srinagar was made the capital for six months and Jammu for the other six months. Second, Srinagar was a bliss in summers. So that region became a summer holiday destination for the king where he can work in a cooler climate. So it was a strategic as well as climatic decision. There have been different opinions on this issue for many years. Those who want Srinagar to be the only capital of the state say that Srinagar is located in the heart of Jammu and Kashmir. It has Kashmir to its north, Jammu to its south and Ladakh to its east. Hence, it is located politically correct. But many people are also against this. During winters, the temperature in Srinagar falls below the freezing point and that is why people working in offices there want to shift to Jammu as it is not that cold in winters in Jammu. Also, the shopkeepers and traders in Jammu do not want Srinagar to be the sole capital of the state as they get to earn more when offices are housed in Jammu. In 1987, Dr. Farooq Abdullah, who was the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir at that time, issued an order to make Srinagar the only capital of the state. But shopkeepers and politicians in Jammu were not happy with this decision and protested against it. The primary reason that most of the people give in support of the idea of shifting from Srinagar to Jammu is that in winters it is very difficult to work in Srinagar. But is Srinagar the only capital in this world where temperature goes below the freezing point? Consider Moscow world's third coldest capital city. In winters, the average temperature in Moscow is minus 10 degrees Celsius, while in Srinagar, in winters, the average temperature is 3 degrees Celsius. If Russia can have a single capital, then why can't Jammu and Kashmir? Apart from the climatic conditions, every year, crores of rupees are spent on moving the official documents in hundreds of trucks. The government also arranges accommodation for officials moving from Jammu to Srinagar and the other way around. What I think is that instead of spending this much amount of money of the taxpayers on this Darbar move, the government should install temperature control units in Srinagar so that working there in winters is not difficult. But as said, people in Jammu would resist this move. To counter this, the government can provide employment opportunities to the people in Jammu. Srinagar's location makes it a good administrative capital and if people in Jammu have something for them, they won't probably resist this move. But who knows, there will be definitely some people who would protest if Srinagar is made the sole capital of Jammu and Kashmir. Till then, people should wait and hope for the best. So guys, if you like this video, do click that like button and share your views using the comment section given below. Share this video with more people to spread awareness and don't forget to click that subscribe button to watch more informative videos like this in future. My name is Pat Nagpal, you are watching InfoManda and I will see you in the next one.